Published, 1507 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 19th of March 2018, updated, 545 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 20th of March 2018 The family involved in a horror crash with Anne McPartland said the TV star was, driving like a maniac, and could have killed them all. Restaurant owner Fahim Banu and his wife Shilpa Dandekar were traveling with their four-year-old daughter Amara when their green mini was involved in a head-on collision with another mini driven by the presenter. The Sunday afternoon crash left the dad and his daughter, shocked and dazed but without any serious injuries. Mr. Banu said Fahim he does not care whether McPartlin is a millionaire or a famous TV star. He could have put my daughter in a wheelchair. Scroll down for video restaurant owners Fahim Banu and Wife Shilpa Dandekar were involved in the crash on Sunday with Anne McPartland the husband and wife team Fahim Vinu and Shilpa Dandekar run a top Indian restaurant in West London. Couple say their experience has been a nightmare, and the family, pictured together last year, are shocked and dazed. But furious Shilpa told The Sun, after Mile Online revealed the identity of the family in the crash, that she had to be held back after the collision because she wanted to smash McPartland in the face. Her husband, Fahim, explained, his mini came flying around a sharp corner on the wrong side of the road trying to overtake a blue car. I hardly had time to react and turned in towards the curb to avoid a head-on collision, I'm convinced that split-second turn of the wheel saved us all from being crippled or killed. I reckon he was doing 50 or 60 miles per hour, he added, the horn of his car was blaring and my little girl was crying in shock. It was a terrible, chaotic scene, as Anne McPartland faced a fresh crisis in his life, it has emerged. ITV presenter crashed his mini into two cars on West London Road near Richmond Park at around 4 p.m. on Sunday. His car, which also contained his mother and dog, ended up on the wrong side of the road after he lost control. Driver of a car he had claimed he was driving it up to 60 miles per hour. Jordy presenter allegedly failed a roadside breathalyzer test, was arrested by police and spent 10 hours in custody. He was bailed over pending a blood test result. The star, 42, arrived home at 3 a.m. yesterday and later held 90 minutes of crisis talks with his management team. Friends say he is distraught about the crash, especially because it involved children. He and his mother suffered bruises. Family involved say he was driving like a maniac and could have killed them. Last night it was announced Dant would take an indefinite break from work and head back to rehab where he has previously battled addiction to painkillers and alcohol. The TV presenter, 42, is seen appearing dazed as he climbs out of his 26,000 pounds John Cooper, which smashed into two other cars and injured a three-year-old girl. The TV presenter, 42, is seen appearing dazed as he climbs out of his 26,000 pounds John Cooper, which smashed into two other cars and injured a three-year-old girl. The video shows the passers by asking a startled McPartland if he is okay. The telly favorite appears to nod as he stumbles and holds on to his car door. The video shows the passers by asking a startled McPartland if he is okay. The telly favorite appears to nod as he stumbles and holds on to his car door. Meanwhile, a close member of McPartland's family said the Saturday night takeaway star is distraught that children were involved in the crash. Speaking to the mirror, the family member added, he is going through a bad time, and and his mother, Christine, have bruises. They are sore and in shock. Thankfully everyone was fine and it was bruising rather than any serious injuries, Shilpa said she suffered a bust lip while daughter Amara was assessed in an ambulance but did not require further treatment. The whole experience has just been a nightmare, Fahim told Mile Online, it is not something that we ever expected, but we are just grateful that no one was hurt, it has been a terrible experience, and it feels like we are coming out of a nightmare. It has left us all a bit shaken up. The CCTV footage captures McPartland driving along Sheen Lane towards a roundabout where he allegedly lost control and crashed. A CCTV camera captured the TV star four minutes before he was involved in a three-car smash that led to his arrest. Fahim said he had been asked not to talk directly about the accident by police. But he added, I cannot talk about certain things, but the main thing is that we are all safe. My daughter and wife are okay and were not injured, asked if he had been contacted by McPartland. He replied, I cannot talk about that. An ambulance was called to the scene of the crash on the Lower Richmond Road in southwest London but was not used to transport any patient to hospital. Amara was taken to West Middlesex Hospital in Isleworth by her parents for a checkup and was not kept in overnight for any treatment. Fahim said, she is fine. 
We are all okay. The green mini, pictured yesterday, in which the couple and their daughter were traveling is pictured by the roadside following the collision with the TV starship La had previously posted this photo of her husband Fahim on Facebook when they first bought their green mini Cooper. A three-year-old girl was taken to hospital after the IMA celebrity presenter lost control of his black mini and crashed into two cars at around 4 p.m. on Sunday in Richmond, southwest London. Pictured is the smashed green mini, which the young girl was in pictured as Lower Richmond Road in southwest London, where Anne McPartland crashed into two cars. A woman is seen opening the door of one of the cars involved in the crash, yesterday. McPartland's car has been covered up by police. Restaurant boss was driving his 2017 registered green mini when it was in collision with a sporty version of the same car with Ant at the wheel. Fahim's mini suffered extensive damage to the near side front wheel while Ant's 26,000 pounds mini had its front near side wheel completely sheared off. Witnesses said Ant, who was returning home from walking his dog in Richmond Park, lost control of his car on a sharp bend after.